deacon since 1971. My responsibilities of being a deacon is, is like the pastor's helper. And, you know, we have assigned members to our districts. You know, we are assigned to districts. And we kind of look after the people, you know, the needs that they need and give them uh, inspiration and to lift them up when they're feeling down. Being a deacon is more than just talking, you know. You can't talk, I am a deacon, because see, a lot of times you got to go, you got to carry on by yourself. In order to be a deacon, you have to be voted upon. Trustees take care of the activity of the church, you know, the finance and everything. And the deacon is, is follows behind the pastor, follow the, the uh, instructions of the pastor. The pastor is the leader, and we follow along by his side. We walk by his side, not behind him or try to get in front of him, because he is the anointed one. God anointed him to be the leader. And our instructions come from the pastor. Since he, I'm with the deaconesses too, you know. I've been a uh, deaconess ever since 1996. And I'm proud to be with the deaconesses, you know. I was one of the members that the pastor, when he organized his deaconess board, this 1962, I'll never forget it. I was one of the members, um, was in the group that he called out names. Uh, we did not have a deaconess board. We had what they called a mother board then. But after we got moving a little bit and ordained some deacons and we had some deaconesses on hand, then we uh, uh, set up the deaconess board. And it had been functioning pretty well, you know, ever since. We have communion twice on the first Sunday. We have it at 7 a.m. in the morning and 11, 11 a.m. Our duties of the Deaconess Board is um, we set the communion up, get it ready for the pastor. Jesus said, we be all of them together. Well, this is my body. And thank you all of this. This is my body. Baptism time is right after Bible study and prayer meeting on Wednesday night. We get the candidates ready for baptism, men and ladies, boys and girls. The uh, ladies always dress them, and uh, we put them on long gowns, put towers on the head, and we march them in the church. There's a funeral. The deaconess is always well white. We are flower attendants, and we carry the flowers out along with the ushers. If there's any ushers there, we always tote the flowers out, you know, for the funeral. Thank you for your many blessings. Yeah, we come, oh God, God, in your name. We pray with the sick and shut in. We go and visit the sick. You know, there's no healing power like that. No anointing oil can do like Jesus. Oh, oh you touched and the man tongue. Can't need you the time when, it, when you was when I unable to talk and how he daily anointed the tongue where you could talk again. Mm -hmm. and, and you're making such progress now. Praise God. Nobody can do that but Jesus, right? You know, nobody but the Lord. Nobody but the Lord. Ain't God good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yes. All the yes. time. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. All, the, All time. the time. He's my Lord. Lord. Yes. God is good. Oh, yeah. Lord. Praise oh, Lord. the Lord. Praise oh, Lord. the Lord. The Lord is going to heal your body. He's going to bring you out. Yeah, already. Look what he done brought you yeah. through already. Mm-hmm. No crying. And I know you're looking up to him. Sister so Blasey is going to take us out with a little song. Okay. And then we will come back and have service with y'all again. Hold to God's unchanged hand. Mm-hmm. Both of you hold it. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You just hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You want to be healed. Your hopes on things Hey!